if you don't want to be called Nazis, stop no, doing you're you're called you're called saying, saying, you're you're called saying, saying stop saying more than things. anyone else's table. Yeah. Yeah. And people would sit there and no, by me. I never called you an anti Semite. Okay. I mean, I'm not sitting here saying no, I don't. I'm, I'm a supporter of the Palestinians, so I'm used to it. Yeah, so. I, well, I'm hoping your beeper doesn't go off. <laughs> Get your popcorn and your straight jackets ready because this is one for the history books. Ryan Gurdusky has been wrecking Democrats on CNN for the last few months. He also went off on a past CNN panel about how Democrats are prolific election deniers, which as most of you should know by now is one of my favorite topics. Man, I have so much in common with this guy. We're both named Ryan. We were both raised Roman Catholic and we both go, what? <laughs> What? Human. <laughs> I even jokingly said in a past video I did about him that he probably wouldn't last long on CNN. And unfortunately, that has turned out to be true when he angered the authoritarian mob on CNN by zinging a very deserving recipient, Mehdi Hassan. If you don't want to be called Nazis, stop uh, doing you're you're called called an anti-Semite anti more than anyone else's table. Yeah. Oh, that was different. And people would like sit there and, no, by me, I never called you an anti-Semite. Okay. I mean, I'm not sitting here saying I, mean, I don't. I'm, I'm a supporter of the Palestinians, so I'm used to it. Yeah, I, well, I'm hoping your beeper doesn't go off. The thing is, is Did that you just oh, say I should wow. die. <laughs> Boy, here we go. You, you should not. No, I did said, you just say no, I should be killed? No, I did not say that. Hold on, hold on. Let me hold on. Live TV. I said I hope you're. Guys, let me let me just stop. You said you hope my beeper doesn't go off. Guys, you said I'm a supporter of the Palestinians. Hamas. Guys, let me stop. Palestinian, are you? Am I what? No, of course I'm not. Ryan, not. Ryan, not. Ryan, I apologize. Are you a Ryan, racist, violent person then inciting violence against Ryan, me? Ryan, that's disgusting. That is completely, Ryan, that Ryan, that's disgusting. That is completely Ryan, I apologize. Good job, CNN. Let's have first block say pocket. the Muslim guy you know should be blown up apologize. on TV. Don't say, apologize. don't say then wow. I apologize. You literally I thought he said Hamas. Him. I apologize. You didn't think I said Hamas. I said I supported Palestinian rights. Yes, I did. Why? Because when you hear Palestinian rights. What's funny is Rudy Giuliani said this yesterday, so you're a great guest to be here to defend Rudy Giuliani. Give me one second. And so at this point, this is what we're in now. Can't this is America this. in 2024. Here's what I will say. Forget Here's the racism. I, that's right. It's, I should that's die. Right. I didn't that's, say that, that you should die. You said, what does beeper mean? Don't give me a fake I did not say you should guys, die. Why like, did you say guys, with my beeper me, going? What did you mean? What did you mean by the beeper? So I said, said, what did you mean by the beeper? No, you didn't. You said, I hope your beeper doesn't go off. Ryan, stop talking. At least have the guts to support your racist comment. I'm so sorry. I'm going to bring it back. This is why... This is why yesterday's rally yeah. was disgusting. Don't call us Nazis, outrageous. but I'm going to threaten the brown guy as a terrorist why. and kill him. Oh, oh, I'm coming. I just, I, I'm done here. I fulfilled my purpose. I, I need to see no more shit down here. I really cannot stand these CNN people. The way that they all feed off each other and their fake outrage as a means of silencing their political opponent. On a panel where it's 5v1, it's just nauseating. I think this is really a microcosm for what these people think when they say our democracy. Rabid leftists silencing and punishing their political opponents for things they give themselves a pass to do because they are the guardrails and they're not going to hold themselves accountable. Mehdi Hassan is so extreme that he got fired from MSNBC. But the reality is there are millions of Americans out there who either support uh, racist far-right authoritarian views or are willing to turn a blind eye. Woke is often used by conservatives as a way to complain about black people. After 9-11 and the launch of a so-called global war on terror, Xenophobia and specifically Islamophobia became rampant here in the US. We had to be protected from the dangerous brown hordes at our borders. The refusal in DC to acknowledge sometimes the humanity and the innocence, not to mention suffering of ordinary Gazans. How much of that is driven by the fact that they're Arabs or they're mostly all Muslims or they don't look like us, do you think? Let's talk about the A word. Palestinians live under a regime of apartheid. Is it fair to describe the modern GOP as neo-fascist or proto-fascist. Although 52% of Republicans did say black people face discrimination, 57% said white people face discrimination, which for me kind of sums it up. To talk simplistically about the far left and the far right as two equally dangerous fringe blocks. But here's the difference. America's far left wants to give us free healthcare and free childcare. America's far right wants to give us white supremacy and no democracy. It's just crazy. CNN and all the other networks have been really ramping up the propaganda calling 
half the country Nazis. And they're all making clear that this is not hyperbole. They are absolutely serious. Donald Trump and all of his supporters, a good chunk of this country, are all literal Nazis. Because of that rhetoric, Trump's already been shot in the face once. One of his supporters was killed trying to block his family from the gunfire. And several other of his supporters were very seriously injured. It's yet another maddening example of how the left and Democrats operate on their own constantly shifting set of standards, always favors them, and always goes against their opposition. They can do this because, like I said earlier, they are the guardrails. And who else is going to hold them accountable? Yet many Hassan can sit on this panel, call Ryan a Nazi, call all of Trump supporters Nazis, and that's perfectly fine. Well, that is totally different. But the moment that Ryan comes back with his own zinger, oh, then he's crossed the line. And it gives them all the excuse that they needed to get rid of a guy who's been destroying them. And conveniently, just before the election. So we're back down to just lonely Scott. The utterly awful Abby Phillips put out a statement saying, quote, there is zero room for racism or bigotry at CNN on our air. Unless that racism and bigotry is against your political opponents. We aim to foster thoughtful conversations and debate, including between people who profoundly disagree with each other in order to explore important issues and promote mutual understanding. But we will not allow guests to be demeaned or for the line of civility to be crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Gerdusky will not be welcome back at our network. Right, the network that's already gotten Trump supporters shot and killed with their rhetoric. But hey, it's like this guy, Steve Redman, said, quote, hate speech has consequences. And in our democracy, anything the ruling party doesn't like is hate speech. I mean, the entire media was just calling Americans who were attending a political rally of the Republican candidate a Nazi rally. Again, not hyperbolically a Nazi rally, but an actual Nazi rally. Rally. I don't know. What do you all think? I'm hoping he gets picked up by Fox News, Newsmax, or maybe even the Washington Post because Bezos says they're looking for conservatives. Let me know what you all think in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.